Let me know if it was just me, but do y'all kind of get the sense that the Ravens are sort of in this whole little thing with Lamar Jackson too? That, that, that's what I got. Because with the Ravens, from, again, from Lamar Jackson, it seemed like he in it with OBJ, but with the Ravens, they seemed like they were in it with Lamar Jackson because they actually reposted what Lamar Jackson posted. And I know initially when you hear that, you might think like, oh, okay, they posted something that Lamar Jackson, but Lamar Jackson posts a lot of stuff. Remember that you ain't see the Baltimore Ravens reposting his goodbye message. You ain't see them reposting that. Oh, no. You ain't see when Lamar Jackson, when it seemed as if he was posting some subliminal stuff that may have been directed at the Ravens. You ain't see them reposting that. But let Lamar post himself on a FaceTime call with Ravens, with new Ravens receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Ravens said, oh, yeah, we on that. We all over that. And like I told y'all, man, this, uh, this whole thing has just, the past 24 hours, just everything that has transpired in those past 24 hours has really just changed my mind on how I feel what's going to go down with Lamar Jackson. I, I, re I really, really, really did not think this thing was looking good for the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. I really thought, like, whether it was going to be right before the draft, right during early on in the draft, or right after the draft, I thought Lamar was gone. I, I said it plenty of times. I did not foresee Lamar Jackson being with the Baltimore Ravens. Obviously, there was still a chance because he ain't signed nowhere else yet, and they didn't trade him yet. But I just, I did not see a, a, a positive resolution between the two. But now, over these past 24 hours, everything that has happened, now, now I'm like, I switched. I, I switched. My, my opinion is completely different now. So, especially with, with, with the, not only with the acquisition of an Odell Beckham Jr., because think about this, and... I, we're not starting anything like that, but just pointing out exactly what it is. We point out exactly what it is. What did Lamar Jackson post when the Ravens signed Nelson Aguilar? Let me just wait. All right. did, what, did, and, and, hey, maybe he did get on a FaceTime call with I don't know. I don't know. But, but did you see Lamar on a FaceTime call with Nelson Aguilar at all? Did you see him going to the club with Nelson Aguilar at all? And if he did, hey, I, I, these are things that I just don't know. But if they did do it, it certainly wasn't publicized. But the Ravens mess around, they signed Odell Beckham Jr. Now Lamar taking pictures, he doing screenshots of the FaceTime and all that. And blah, blah, blah. So uh, coincidence? I don't know. I don't know. But Lamar really seems to be on board with this Odell Beckham Jr. being signed by the Baltimore Ravens. So that could be something that would entice Lamar Jackson to sign with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, one thing, uh, he, the deal still got to be right. The deal still got to be right. And we don't even know what the most recent offer is. We don't know what it is. We don't know the numbers on it or anything like that. But could this also, could, could just seeing how happy Lamar Jackson seems to be from this move, how just excited he seems to be from this move, could that make the Ravens increase their offer? Could, could that make the Ravens improve whatever their current offer is? And hey, they could have a good offer on the table right now. They could have a deal, a good deal on the table right now. But would they go the route that they went with Odell Beckham Jr. as far as an offer? Because the Ravens gave Odell Beckham Jr. an offer that he could not refuse. Will they do that now with Lamar Jackson? Have they done it already with Lamar Jackson? Because I know there's been a lot of people that say, oh, man, these Ravens and Lamar, they trolling. They troll. They probably already got a deal in place already. And me, I, I've continued to disagree with that. And I, I would still disagree with that. Because if they had a deal in place already, then that deal would be signed already. It would need to be signed. The reason being, in my opinion, because it wouldn't make sense if the Ravens had a deal on the table already with Lamar Jackson. And they were, he was just waiting on it. He was just like, oh, I'm, okay, whatever. 
Unless he was like, you know what, that's a good deal, but let me see what else you do first. Let me see what you're going to do for me first. Let me see if you're really going to bring in somebody for me first. Let, 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 let's, let's see that. So I guess it is a possibility that they had something on the table. And he was like, you know what, prove it to me first. Prove to me first that you're actually going to get me some significant weapons in addition to the weapons that we got already. Prove to me that you're going to get me somebody that's like that. So I, that's why I say, hey, y'all got Odell Beckham Jr. That's great. Don't stop. Don't stop. You want to mess around and get DeAndre Hopkins too? You ain't going to hear peep out of me. Uh, you you want to do that? Fine. By all means, go for it. Go for it. But it's we'll see what happens with that. But um, the, one of some of the reasons why I didn't think that it was a deal on the table already because I felt like since so many people are watching, so many players are watching, so many teams are watching, so many, everybody's watching to see how this thing unfolds between the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson to see what happens next. So I figured that all right, the the Ravens will want to get Lamar signed. They will want to get him signed. Before, so if they want to attract more free agents and whatnot, they can be like, hey, come through. We got Lamar now. Now we know who our quarterback is going to be. But now, like, really, when I um say this stuff out loud, maybe they did have something on the table. Maybe, maybe, because maybe Lamar, and this is something that we, we thought about last year. Maybe Lamar was like, you know what, Ravens? Y'all got to prove to me first, because I remember we had a lot of questions from subscribers that were like, hey, what if should Lamar take less? And then the Ravens can be like, all right, Lamar, if you take less, then we'll get you that wide receiver you want. We'll get you that, that, that number one receiver that you want. We'll get you that another playmaking receiver that you want. But you got to take less. And I always like scoffed at that. Like, what? Why, why would he take? No, you can't. Why would he sign a deal and take less? And based, well, you can't take a deal based off a of promise. You can't do that. Because if you do that, then they'll be like, oh, all right, Lamar, sign. Sign a deal. And then he signs, and they'll be like, ah, ha, got him. <laughs> we ain't getting that receiver for you. You saw what we did the past five years. We ain't getting that receiver for you. But if Lamar put their feet to the fire, and he looked at a deal, and if it was a good deal, Lamar could be like, well, that's nice. And you, you talk a good game, but are you really going to come through? Are you really going to get me that guy like I want. So now it seems as if the Ravens have got one of them guys like Lamar wants. But now, are, are we just waiting on a formal announcement now? Are we waiting on a signature, a pen to paper? Is Eric DaCosta and Bashadi and Harbaugh, are they going to fly down to Florida and say Lamar? Or they, they could fax it to him too. Because he ain't even got to fly down. You can fax it to him. Just don't. Don't use Von, no, not Von Miller. I'm tripping because it's a Denver Bronco thing. Don't use Elvis Dumaville's fax machine because if you mess around and use that fax machine, he ain't going to have no quarterback. So, anyway, um, we'll see. But it, it does seem like the Ravens, like they may be up to something. So, Ravens, you know I'm watching. I'm always watching, y'all. You already know what time it is. But we waiting. We waiting. It's like... Now it's like we've been waiting on something for so long, and then whenever we get a development with the Ravens, it's a big development. But now it's almost like I feel like we almost just waiting on an announcement now. But we'll see. But like I thought he was going to be before, but now my, my tune has completely changed. Like I don't think Lamar will be when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, unless they hit a big swerve or something. I'm out.